2018 Nissan Juke Review The good points of Nissan Juke Quirky styling High seating position Generous kit levels Refined engines The bad points of Nissan Juke Firm ride Leans in excessive mountain corners Grand rear seats CVT Auto Compromised Nissan started its crossover campaign in 2007 while using Cash Chi, an SUV slash hatchback combination, and quickly followed it up together with the Nissan Juke, that's purportedly a sporty SUV slash super mini. Offering eye-catching looks that set it apart coming from all manner of rivals, in the slightly dull 4D Co Sport and Vauxhall Moku X, to the more interesting Renault Capture and Peugeot 2008. The Duke has become a runaway success for Nissan, proving that this crossover class is extremely much not going away soon. The Duke carries a high driving position and there is really a four-wheel drive setup on the top-powered petrol versions, but consider real, you are not going to be with your fancy new Duke for farm work. Front-wheel drive is standard in many petrol and diesel versions. Essentially, this is the cut-price boutique item geared towards young go-getters who inevitably, want something different. Whatever, its big draw is going to be the price and that which you get a funky looking car, a considerable engine range and lots of kit available along the lineup. What Nissan must face would be the huge level of competition that's cropped up now, due to the Duke transforming into a trend-setting car back 2010. SUV Driving Position The high-set driving position from the Duke is similar to that of an SUV in order that it offers excellent forward vision plus a commanding view on the road ahead as well as the sides. Because from the rakish looks plus the interior design, nevertheless feels quite sporty. It's extremely comfortable as well as simple to get into and away from, at the very least for those right in front. Add in fantastic comfort with the seats along with the ease of adjusting the driving position for drivers on most shapes and sizes plus the Duke is quite comfortable. It might resemble a three-door however it's actually a five-door, the trunk handles are disguised next to the windows to help expand promote that athletic image. Less impressive driver an automobile. There's without doubt the Nissan Duke hangs on determinedly through corners because of the grip and balance of the company's setup. It makes the Duke surprisingly agile and quick at changing direction, that's not something you'd instantly keep company with a car of the type. However. The Nissan's ride is way too firm at any speed, transmitting shocks and jolts to the occupants an excessive amount of the time with the car to become considered comfortable. There can also be a wide range of body lean through corners, which can be at odds while using fine grip. Performance is provided using a choice of petrol engines and another diesel unit, all found elsewhere in Nissan's variety of cars. Nissan Duke Nismo RS First named the Duke Nismo together with the firm's turbocharged 190 horsepower 1.6 litre petrol engine, the Nismo RS packs more punch with an even wilder look with lashings of spoilers, vents and red trimmings, in addition to a set of sports seats inside. The RS is equipped with a much more powerful 1.6 litre petrol engine producing 218 horsepower and 280 newton meters of torque. It's obtainable in front-wheel drive form using a manual gearbox, or four-wheel drive which has a CVT automatic plus a detuned 214 horsepower, 250 newton meters motor. Latest deals from Buick R. Nissan Juke 2016-66 Nissan Juke. 12,990 pounds. Or 202 pounds each month. Nissan Duke 1.5 Ascent Premium D. 9,495 pounds. Or 154 pounds a month. See all deals on Nissan Duke. Representative example, representative API of 7.9% borrowing 10,509 pounds over 48 months on HP type finance. The total amount payable could be 250 pounds per month. That has a total cost of credit of £1,483 as well as a total amount payable of £11,992.
Dennis Boo I Car Limited, 3132 Alfred Place, London, WC1 E7 DP, GB0915108, is often a credit broker regulated by FCA, FRN colon 667368. The Verdict The Nissan Juke was one with the first compact crossovers, and still looks fresh today, whether you want the styling or you cannot. It's showing its age weight against more spacious plus much more frugal rivals, however it holds its very own with a reliable drive along with a generous or higher level standard kit. Nissan Juke SUV Review Plenty of turbo petrol options Only one diesel engine Performance adequate, otherwise rapid Given the sporty look with the car Nissan Juke performance is usually a bit of any mixed bag based on which engine going for. Petrol engines Nissan Juke buyers hunting for a petrol powered model have a number of four motors, within a slightly confusing lineup. The entry level engine is really a 94 horsepower 1.6 litre naturally aspirated engine that's only accessible in base spec Vizia trim and using a 5 speed manual gearbox. It produces 140 newton meters of torque, which isn't really enough for that Duke to feel particularly energetic. The 0 to 62 miles per hour sprint takes 12 seconds, while top speed is 104 miles per hour. Next up is often a 117 horsepower version on the same engine, mated with a CVT automatic transmission, taking 11.5 seconds to perform the 0 to 62 miles per hour sprint on and on onto 106 miles per hour at the summit end. Torque is a little more generous at 158 newton meters, but this version from the Duke is hobbled by that gearbox. It's slow to reply and causes it to become feel more sluggish of computer really is. The way it revs makes driving quickly a bit of an record. Midway over the Duke's life, a turbocharged 1.2 liter Dig T engine was included in the lineup producing 115 horsepower along with a more usable to 190 newton meters of torque. In reality, you choose to do still need to work the engine not easy to make swift progress, as still it takes 10.8 seconds to visit from 0 to 62 miles per hour, plus the power quickly drops off since the revs rise because on the way most of the muscle is delivered at low engine speeds. However, when you ignore the effect it's having on fuel consumption, there's fun on offer in revving out this engine. It doesn't maximize exciting sound, but it really la more than nippy enough for almost all drivers, in particular when it's just around town, while at speed it doesn't take long to try and do an overtaking maneuver once you've changed down a gear or two. The six-speed manual gearbox is slick enough, though just a little vague in feel, but about the upside, the gear lever itself is positioned nicely on account of the slightly raised center console, meaning it falls easily at hand. If you're after more performance, a lot livelier 190 horsepower 1.6 litre Dig T turbo petrol power is probably the most potent version on the regular Duke. The 0 to 62 miles per hour time drops to simply 8.0 seconds, plus a four-wheel drive version is usually available with the 8.4 second 0 to 62 miles per hour time. The only problem is that gardeners can only have the four-wheel drive model while using CVT gearbox, hampering performance somewhat. Diesel engine The sole defender in the diesel fate within the Nissan Juke range is usually a Renault-sourced 110 horsepower 1.5 litre turbo, badged DC 110, which offers 260 newton meters of torque. 0 to 62 miles per hour in 11.2 seconds along with a top speed of 109 miles per hour. In pre-2013 Dukes it gives you 57.6 miles per gallon and 129 grams slash km fractional CO2 emissions. More recent models claim 70.6 miles per gallon and merely 104 grams slash km, a substantial improvement. It pulls strongly at low revs but does have its work eliminate on faster roads and once overtaking, plus it's also too noisy when cruising on the national speed limit. Nissan Duke Nismo RS Powering the latest version with the Duke can be a 1.6 litre Dig T petrol providing 218 horsepower and 280 newton meters of torque when mated to some 6-speed manual gearbox. 
0 to 62 miles per hour is cared for in 7.0 seconds, and yes it will go on reach a maximum speed of 137 miles per hour, this will be the fastest duke by way of a significant margin, though the engine isn't the smoothest or happiest when worked hard, booming away and providing an inconsistent SP watch of power. Unlike most turbocharged petrol engines, which give a good slug of power at low engine speeds, this blog takes a bit winding up. It accumulates at middling engine speeds, though power fades somewhat inside the mid-range. Push harder as well as the Nismo RSCs again towards redline. This inconsistency makes this Duke frustrating drive an automobile, because it's not easy to know how much power is on tap, determined by which gear you're in. While it's in excess of fast enough for many, keen drivers will likely want a more rounded machine. Four-wheel drive can be available with this model but, like inside the regular Duke, it's only available that has a CVT gearbox, named Mxtronic. In this form, the Nismo RS produces 214 horsepower and 250 Nm of torque, taking one second longer to achieve 62 miles per hour at a standstill and reaching a 124 miles per hour top speed. Strong grip in corners. Body roll lets the Duke down. Steering is quick, but without feel. A game of two halves. While we much like the levels of grip which the Duke offers in tight corners as well because quick steering, we're not really that enamored using the ride and volume of body lean. The Duke, in almost any guise, is likely to lunge quite heavily in case you enter most with just about any gusto and this rather stiff suspension can begin to irritate when cruising on less than smooth road surfaces. Although quick, the steering still is really a little rubbery and you also never believe connected to the street. The gear change can be somewhat niggly when you find yourself changing through the H however it is okay when moving the lever directly backwards or forwards. The Duke isn't a car you'll go for should you want driving enjoyment but being a motorway or urban cruiser it's great enough for your job. On our center trim and above, Nissan's dynamic control product is fitted that's three drive mode settings, Eco, Normal and Sport, confusingly selected with the screen that displays the climate control. This suggests the steering and throttle response in line with the driving conditions. If you would like to save fuel in city traffic place it in Eco but in the event you are cruising about or using a big road you may leave it normal. Then in case you feel the need to use a bit of your blast, shove it in sport mode therefore you'll feel a marked, and welcome, change from the throttle response particularly. A display offers you information about your fuel consumption while in eco and tell you specifics of the car's performance inside other modes. Nissan Duke Nismo RS The Duke Nismo RS gains advantage from stiffer springs within the standard car as well as an altered steering rack. The stiffer suspension means less body roll within the corners compared to standard Duke, making for a more rewarding driving experience. Body control is quite good, and even though the ride is firm it can do soak up bumps a lot better than you might expect. The ride is notably stiffer versus the standard car using the hard, body-hugging sports seats compromising comfort further within the normal Duke, when you want a cushy car for cruising about, this isn't it. This does mean that this car is a bit more agile from the bends, however, proving surprisingly sporty that has a limited slip differential maximizing grip on the front tires. The steering is good and precise, and even though not filled with feedback it can help the driver to set the car accurately. Overall, the handling is playful enough and keep keen drivers happy but still remains safe and predictable. All-wheel drive Nismos find the same clever torque vectoring system because regular 4WD Duke, it is a system that shuffles the automobile's power between all four wheels to hold it within the right line when cornering. Power is shipped only to top wheels when your vehicle is traveling within a straight line, and after that partially sent to the trunk wheels when the motorist begins steering. The largest number of power would go to the outside rear wheel to help you steer the car towards inside from the corner preventing it running wide. Funky, interesting interior. Not copied by materials. Easy to acquire comfy, though. The idea behind the Duke is the fact that it's allowed to be a bit funky, but, 
aside through the motorcycle fuel tank inspired central console, it's somewhat conservative inside if you look deeper at some with the fixtures and fittings, they're ones you'll find on a good amount of other Nissan models. The dashboard can be a large, cheap looking hard plastic affair plus the layout isn't exactly a paragon of futuristic design, yet it's easy to use. The climate and driving control buttons are somewhat flimsy though, an instant prod having an index finger can move them about, and that is hardly reassuring for future use and abuse. Similarly, the central armrest on some models thinks very flimsy and wobbly. Duke Nismo RS Inside the Nismo's cabin a few will be disappointed with the fairly restrained appearance, however the world thinks this subtlety creates this version with the Duke. The deep-sided suede trimmed sports seats feel supportive and appear good, although the seat backs are pretty hard and unyielding, whilst the leather trimmed tire with Alcantara grips looks suitably sporty. It also has a competition car style center marker in the top from the wheel, finished in red to complement the overall color scheme. There's yet more suede around the door liners as well as the Nismo logo is repeated across the cabin around the gear levers around floor mats and seats for those who forget what car you're in. All on this is offset nicely by red stitching for the seats, tire and gear lever, echoing the outdoors pinstriping, along which has a fittingly racy red lighting scheme for that rev counter. Easy to discover a comfortable driving position. Seats comfy, and not very supportive. Firm ride upsets the calm. All things considered. The Nissan Duke's comfort levels are pretty decent. The high driving position really helps drive a vision along with the steering wheel and seat adjustments are flexible and comprehensive enough to yield a cozy driving position within a few moments. The only thing that's prone to bother some drivers could be the lack of reach adjustment for that steering wheel. Once on the street the Duke will get rather bouncy on uneven surfaces and also the seats don't offer enough side support if you take tight corners at speed, despite their impressive comfort with the rest from the time. It's pleasant enough to pay time in, and in the event you are regularly making journeys that last under one hour you will emerge through the driving seat feeling pretty relaxed. The firm ride might will irritate on longer trips though. Nissan Duke Nismo RS Comfort in comparison while using standard Duke, the Nismo gains sports seats with enhanced side supports. These are ideal for keeping the driving force and front passenger hemmed in when negotiating twisty parts of your route. The exhaust note is moderately zesty after you put your foot down but quiet enough to get mostly unobtrusive whenever you want to drive an automobile somewhere without fuss. There is usually a noticeable quantity of wind noise within the move. But aside from the Nismo is just as adept being a motorway cruiser the way it is on twisty back roads. Mostly well equipped range. Middle, top level models the most beneficial. Go easy about the options. The Nissan Juke range is much simpler to navigate personal computer used being when various special editions were available and trim levels were changing names regularly. Now, it's derived from Vizier, Ascenta. N connector and Tecna, in addition to the hot Nismo RS. Standard Nissan Duke SUV equipment. Kicking things off is Vizier trim, coming with remote central locking, air conditioning, 16 inch alloy wheels, LED daytime running lights, electric door mirrors, front and rear electric windows. You'll have to move up to our center for additional Bluetooth phone connectivity, USB port, drive modes, 17 inch alloy wheels, privacy glass, front fog lights, cruise control, climate control, multifunction leather leader, plus leather gear knob, on connector ads. 5.8 inch touchscreen infotainment system with satnav and dive radio. Reversing camera. Electric folding mirrors. Keyless ignition. Automatic lights and wipers. Sports seats. Front arm rest. 
black headlining, color pack for interior trim. Top spec Techno models consist of all on the above, plus safety shield, 360 degree cameras, lane departure warning, blind spot warning and moving object detection. Leather seats with front seat heating. Alternative 17 inch alloys. The Nismo RS uses Techno trim as being a base, adding sports suspension and steering setup. Upgraded brakes. Nismo tuned exhaust. 18 inch alloy wheels. Nismo aero package. Rear diffuser. Alcantara interior trim with red stitching. Carbon look finish for instruments. Gloss black center console. Sports seats. Optional Nissan Duke SUV accessories. Nissan has bundled most of that options into packs should you want to increase the risk for Duke look much more individual compared with standard form. If you want individual options, it's simpler to step up to another model from the range. Some from the packs offered include Exterior pack, various color finishes for exterior trim, bumper finishes, mirrors and headlight finishes. Exterior pack plus, as above but adds 18 inch alloy wheels with color trim, either black, red, white or yellow. Interior pack, center console, stitching, door trim, air vents in a choice of black, red, white or yellow. Tank pack, xenon headlights and safety shield tech. Comfort pack, panoramic sunroof. There tend to be more packs available, which permit bias to incorporate more color trim protection with the boot besides other pieces of chrome trim for that exterior. Strong safety rating for Duke. 5 stars from your own cap. Extra safety kit available. Independent safety assessors, your own cap, awarded the vehicle the full 5 star Sonish and Duke aspects among the most effective in class. All models consist of 6 airbags, isofix child seat points in a corner anti whiplash headrests and brake assist. There is usually the addition of Nissan's dynamic control system on our center models and above, providing further comfort. Nissan Safety Shield package is also positioned on most models, bundling in 360 degree cameras, blind spot warning and lane departure warning to include extra driver assistance systems. Space for four inside Duke. Boot surprisingly spacious. Not many storage areas. How good the Nissan Duke's practicality is depends upon how you wish to view this car. There's a lot of space right in front in terms of head and legroom, though it's a rather different story from the back. The roofline slopes because you move rearwards, along with the door opening is pretty narrow, meaning it's all too easy to hit your head for the way in when you maneuver yourself throughout the bodywork. However, rear space isn't too disappointing so long as there's nobody too tall right in front seats. Headroom is reasonable, but it really can be dark from the back on higher spec models with privacy glass and black headlining. In some methods the Dukes might be forgiven. View it as a possible urban runaround as well as the extra practicalities of an 5 door bonuses. View it like a family car though, and it also is less impressive. By no means would it be bad. Though, at a corner, the boot can be a useful 354 litres, that's part of the course because of this size of car, made increasingly practical by the split level boot floor to disguise items away from sight. The parcel shelf can also be attached to the boot lid, meaning you don't have to waste time fiddling with it to acquire it out from the way. General storage isn't quite as impressive, though. There can be a couple of useful cup holders at the start, nevertheless the door bins are smaller than average and there is really a limited level of space elsewhere. The Duke isn't a big car, despite its bulbous nose suggesting otherwise. It's compact, with surprisingly good visibility to help you maneuver the vehicle. For example, the lumps on top on the headlamp units help judge the location where the front on the car is, although windows for the back in the car less difficult smaller so you'll enjoy it for reversing cameras on higher spec models.
The door mirrors are particularly large, comically so for this sort of compact car, but it will help with visibility at the same time. Boot space is decent inside Duke, especially once you consider how compact its exterior size is. For a front wheel drive version from the Duke, the boot dimensions are 354 liters that has a split level boot floor that expands to just 1,189 liters if you fold the trunk seats down. If you choose a 4WD version from the Duke, however, boot size takes a substantial hit. In this form, it's 207 liters while using seats up and 786 liters using them down.